On the 28th of April 1986, a nuclear power station in northern Ukraine was running a standard test in its fourth reactor. The power level became abnormally low which resulted in an explosion of the fission reactor core and the worst nuclear accident in history. When reactor 4 exploded, a material called corium which physically resembles lava was released from the damaged reactor core. Corium is generally made up of nuclear fuel, damaged parts of the reactor, products of nuclear fission and products of the reaction between nuclear waste and air. It wasn't until 8 months after the accident in December 1986 that the elephant's foot was discovered in room 2172 about 15 meters southeast from the remains of reactor number 4. Upon discovery it was soon realized that the extremely radioactive flow of molten nuclear waste had burned through at least 2 meters of reinforced concrete only to then enter a series of pipes and flow down the hallway to reach the location shown in this photograph. The discovery led to some immediate concerns. Scientists were worried that the mass of corium, which had now been given the name the elephant's foot due to its slight resemblance of an elephant's foot, would continue to burn through the ground and come into contact with water. There were serious concerns that if this were to happen, a catastrophic explosion would take place, spreading nuclear waste in a much larger radius than the disaster had already done. Furthermore, even if the elephant's foot's contact with water didn't result in an explosion, it would most certainly cause extremely toxic contamination to local water supplies. While the elephant's foot today is still extremely dangerous, the risks associated with it have dropped massively since 1986. For example, when it was discovered, simply standing next to it for just 5 minutes would give you a 50-50 chance of receiving a lethal dose of radiation. Today you would need to stand next to it for between 60 and 90 minutes to receive this same amount of radiation. This has made studying and photographing the elephant's foot a lot more manageable, not to mention that hazmat suits and other radioprotective clothings have improved leaps and bounds since the 1980s. The foot is also no longer flowing. When discovered, the molten mass of radioactive waste was slowly flowing due to its non-solid state, whereas today the elephant's foot has cooled down a lot and is now a solid object, which won't burn through any more concrete and find its way into water supplies. As for the accident itself, the long-term effects of radiation have not only damaged local wildlife, but left a once functional town totally abandoned. What's eerie about the small town of Pripyat is that when the citizens were evacuated by buses in 1986, they didn't realise they were leaving for the last time. Pripyat as it stands today is probably the closest thing we have to the remains of an apocalypse. The area will remain uninhabitable for human beings for the next 20,000 years. And hopefully this serves as a reminder as to why you shouldn't try to build a nuclear power station as cheaply as you can.